We want to welcome you again to another episode of the Biblical Resolutions Podcast, which is brought to you by the House of Jacob, a Bible study class located at 2515 East 75th Street in Chicago, Illinois. And we want to remind the listeners to please follow the Biblical Resolutions Podcast by going to our podcast page, which, which can be found at hojbible.podbean.com. And you can also follow us on the House of Jacob Bible Study Class's main website, which is thehouseofjacob.org. And on today's podcast, uh, we have Brother Ahissamak and we have Brother Joel from Detroit. And we are continuing um, our seven-part series, which we are doing uh, during the Feast of Unleavened Bread uh, and Investigation of Leaven. And today we are dealing with the leaven of education. And I know this might be, some people might be like education, but doctrine, the doctrine we learn is, is a spiritual education. Yes, sir. And so yes, we sir. learn sin. The education that the world gives us, it teaches us to sin. Right? right, you got social education, yeah. which you learn from the people you grow up around. You learn from your family, right? Hatred, racism, mm -hmm. being being a whoremonger, being a thief. Somebody teaches you that. Yeah, that's right. That that's your that's your social environment, and yeah. you got social media, which is educating us. We got TV and radio, which is educating us on mm -hmm. how we should live because that it's instructing you. Yeah. Whether you really grasp gr can grasp that concept is educating. Mm -hmm. um, and we got the academic side. You know, you learn in, in school. They teach you. They give you some education. When you graduate college, what do they say? You, you're an uh, alumni, right? You're illuminated. Mm -hmm. you, you're uh, you in the know. But that education also teaches you a way of thinking. Yes, sir. And then you go to church and you get a spiritual education, which yes, is given you through the doctrine that the one who supposed that the, that the, the minister is uh, giving you as teaching to you. So everything, it, all of this is the education that we get mm -hmm. 24 right. hours a day, seven days a week. Yep. And in this education is a whole lot of leaven. Whether yes, it's sir. from the doctrine that you learn yes, in that church, whether it's from the things of the world, the world telling you this is OK and you could be like this or whether it's something you learn in the classroom. Right. But at the end of the day, the knowledge of God is not in the world. The Lord tell you in Isaiah, the curse have devoured the yes, earth. Sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So that means the whole earth, he said, he tell you the whole earth is the foundations of the earth is out of course. Of course. Yeah, that's right. So <laughs> that's because sin is rampant. Leaven is rampant. And we're yeah. going to deal with the leaven of education today. But we want to start this off uh, with reading this first Corinthians five and eight. Uh, Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with old leaven, neither with the leaven of malice and wickedness but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Mm -hmm. And so this is what this feast is all about. It is, right. it is, it is about removing sin uh, from removing sin out of your body. In, in other words, how the book says, mortifying your members, yeah. uh, you know, mortifying your flesh yeah. and being unleavened, which is righteousness, walking in righteousness. But we're going to start this off with Colossians, the second chapter. And uh, Brother Joel, this is one, one of the scriptures you wanted to touch on, bro. Yes. Uh, yeah, thank you all, brothers, for, uh, you know, being on this uh, platform. Beautiful praise God in Jesus' name. Jesus yes, sir. Name, brother. Yes, Jesus' sir. name, brother. Yes, sir. But just like you said, brother, this is the education so people need to be aware of things and being aware of things, you have to be aware of things too. You know what I'm saying? You got your warnings. And this is a big warning that Paul pointed out about teaching and high 
educated people that philosophize. So right. uh, Colossians 2 and 8. I I'll read, read it, brother. It. Okay, go ahead, okay. bro. Okay. Thank you. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the root, after the traditions of men, uh -huh. after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. So we see right off the fact that Paul is saying, beware lest any man spoil you. Evidently, there are people out here spoiling people through philosophy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, big uh, orators that know how to speak well, went to college and learned how to uh, talk, you know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, educated in speech or right. communication. And they, they'll ruin you or spoil you through their philosophy. And it says vain, which means nothing, deceit after the traditions of men. Right. After the rudiments of this world. So evidently the world don't have it right. Right. Because mm -hmm. he says, and not after Christ. So we have to be educated and rooted in Christ, not the traditions of men and not through vain deceit or philosophy, but what the teaching of Christ is. And that's what Paul is warning us about. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, and you know, this this is a, a good a good scripture to start off with, man, because the world or a lot of these educated people, they philosophize you into not believing in God. Believing in God. Yes, sir. You yeah. see what I'm saying? They they got yeah. they they philosophize into why God ain't real. It's based on philosophy. It ain't based on right. it's based on all these theories and yeah. whatnot, That's but it ain't it, it don't have nothing to do with christ mm -hmm. and so hey man it's a warning man don't let them spoil you in other words don't let them pull you away from off this path that's right. yeah, that's right. uh because that's what philosophy and things like that are do uh but let's go to second timothy the fourth chapter and brother hissamac this is uh this is one of your yeah definitely man scriptures, uh, bro. Yeah, man. And, you know, again, this this is this is what we got to really be aware of, you know, man. Uh, you know, you can get so smart, you're stupid. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> or you just or basic, simple stuff makes no sense. Right, and, right. Uh, you know, man, these warnings, man, that, that's been given to uh, uh, us, man, through the Bible, man, it's, it's, it's just telling us that. You know what I'm saying? People going to come talking all type of stuff. You That's know what right. I'm saying? According to where you live, you talking something different. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you know, it, it, it just is what it is. But right. this right here, this 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 word of God, this Bible, this is a universal language. It speaks right. to every man in every nation. Right. To everybody that's ever came out of the womb, it speaks to you. Right. You into something that's going someplace bigger, man. And uh, we, we can't let no um, body pull us off that, uh, that, 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 that focus, that path, that journey. Uh, yes, definitely, man. But this is right here again, a, a warning, man. Uh, Paul giving Timothy a warning. So this second Timothy chapter four and uh, verse three and four, brother, when you get it, go ahead, brother. I'll read it for you. Yes, okay. sir. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, mm -hmm. but after but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having inching ears, mm -hmm. and they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall be turned unto fables. Mm -hmm. And that's and that's like a huge stable statement, because sound doctrine, man, they don't hear it. That's right. I mean, sound doctrine. Everybody we know died was buried. Sound. Sound. Yes, sir. Sound. Right. But in these times, people go into heaven. And we can't see that. We can't prove it. Everybody we see go into the ground. Mm -hmm. They we have gotten away from sound doctrine. We can got away from fundamentals, man, and stuff, spoofery and mystery and all this stuff to it. Now you can't understand. Now people confused. Right. Right. They so confused. Right. Then he said they're gonna. But it says, but after their own lust, they're gonna find teachers uh having engineers to scratch them engineers because now you're gonna find you a, a, a preacher or an instructor to tell you, man, it's a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. They're gonna tell you what you they they're gonna tell you what you want to hear. What you want to hear, you know what I mean? What you pay for, 
Right. That's what I'm saying. Right. You pay for me to say this, I'm going to tell you what you want to hear. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Those are the things that we got to get away from. In this Bible, yeah. it's, it's, it's mourning and woe, it's joy, it's pain, it's suffering. But that's all contained in this book. Everything right. can't be good. Everything ain't going to be bad. We got to understand that. So when we get even this education in this Bible, we got to see that, hey, man, hey, when you raising kids, you're going to hug them sometimes. Sometimes they're going to get corrected. All that is part of your education in the path that you're going towards salvation and righteousness. Right. But that's when you right. get outside that path, you're going to get you some education, man, that's going to steer you towards the way of the world. That's going to okay. lead you down a path. In verse 4, it said, you're gonna, they're going to be turned into fables. Right. That's this is what right. the people have been turned into. They got an education in falsehood. Right. They got an education in lies. Yes, sir. All that stuff. Now, you can, now you know, everybody's serving God, but you do this, they do that, this person do this, this person do this. Come on. Yep. Yeah. But that's, the leaven, but that's the leaven of this education. Yes, sir. That's what it's going to do to you. Yes, sir. Absolutely, brother. Let's uh let's let's move on though. E excellent point, though, brother. Absolutely. And we we just gonna we're gonna go right back one book but uh before this, second Timothy three, and we're gonna pick it up at verse one. Brother Joel, if you can, yes, brother, sir. you pick that up for me. Yes, sir. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. Covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures, more than lovers of God. Now, in them first four verses, you got you got every kind of leaven uh, that, that you can think of. And we talking mm -hmm. about all these things lead to sin and they are the by, byproduct of uh, continuous sinning. Yes, sir. And this this is what's going to happen. But 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 something else is going to happen, too, because you got all this sin. You skip down to verse seven. Verse seven. Ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Now, that how can you be ever learning, but never able to come to the knowledge of the truth? Yeah. Because you would think if you steadily learning, eventually you're going to come to the knowledge of the truth. But that ain't always so. Because if you learning the wrong type of, you receiving the wrong type of education. Yes, sir. You're not going to yeah. come to the knowledge of the truth. Yes, sir. That's right. Yes, and sir. so to you, you know, this this lets me know it don't matter how smart you are, it don't matter how well you could speak, you could be learning, you could you could you could read a hundred hundreds of books, you can have a whole house full of books, and you could just mm -hmm. always be going in circles. And mm -hmm. the knowledge of the truth, you keep missing it, mm -hmm. even though you learning continuously, mm -hmm. because first of all, what's in you. You know, all these other things you got going on in you, you, yeah. you high minded. And when you high minded, man, most high minded people, they don't want to deal with no God. Yeah. Because they feel that they are gods. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so you never come to it. Right. Even though you are ever learning, you still not going to come to the knowledge of the truth. But this is the trap of all this education that, that's the leaven of all this learning and learning and learning because if yes, you're sir. learning the wrong thing man you're gonna miss how to get salvation yes sir uh, right. and that's just yes, the way sir. it go let's yeah. let's move on let's go to um let's go to uh psalms 106 and uh we're gonna pick it up at verse 34 psalms 106 and 34 uh again we you know we look at we look at the leaven in the Bible and, you know, when you look at it, you know that part of it is doctrine again. But doctrine is 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 an education. That's why people say you have been indoctrinated yeah. Yeah. Be because because now you done been you done been taught this this certain way of thinking or, you know, you done been taught 
something and now it it, it changes the way you think yeah um, yeah which is yeah. what the word of god is supposed to do yeah uh, yeah it is an indo- it is an education it is, it is an indoctrination because yes. hey man the commandments of god and the word of god is supposed to change you so that you could be uh acceptable yes. servant to the true and living god yes sir uh, yes sir but when you don't understand that and you ain't thinking that you you're not realizing that that's that's the whole purpose then that's why you get people again they just going they jumping from 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 one doctrine to another from yeah, one yeah. thing to another they got a whole lot of knowledge man but they still don't know the knowledge of the truth yeah that's right. um, yeah but this psalms 106 uh, brother hissamak if you could brother pick it up at uh, verse 34 Yes, sir. They did not destroy the nations concerning whom the Lord commanded them. So he's talking about Israel. When he brought them out of Egypt, he said, mm-hmm. I'm going to give you this land. He told them what to do. Hey, man, you 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 destroy these nations that's in the land. But of course, they wanted to do it their way. Mm-hmm. And, but this is what happened, though. Go ahead, brother. Verse 35. But were mingled among the heathen. And learn their works. Now, look, it said they learned their works. Again, you didn't destroy the nations that, that the Lord told you to destroy. So now what happened? You mingled in with them. And what did you do? You learned they works. Yeah. You That's learned true. about how to serve they gods, which is yeah. what got you, which is what got you kicked yeah. out the land. Yeah. Because <laughs> you start learning the ways of the people. He told you not to learn their ways. Mm-hmm. But this is what happened. They got the wrong education. Mm-hmm. They got the education of idolatry. Mm-hmm. And they committed spiritual whoredoms against the God of Israel because they was learning how to do all those other abominations. Mm-hmm. The wrong education mm-hmm. because they was around the wrong people. Go ahead, brother. Verse 36. And they served their idols, which were a snare unto them. And that's mm-hmm. ultimately what happened. Mm-hmm. Hey, but they learn their works. That's what happened, yeah. man. You hang around the person so long, you gonna start right. to learn their works. Yeah, and they gonna and they gonna learn yours. You know, but whoever got the stronger personality, that's yep. the one that's gonna be doing the teaching. But yep. I, I'm gonna if if you a thief, if I hang around you long enough, yeah, I'm gonna learn how to steal. You might be a good a good thief. <laughs> right. Yeah, I'm gonna start to learn. Okay, dog, no, that's how you do that. Yeah, but right. again, it's the education I'm getting. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And and you know another good point, even in that man, when they learned those work, they had to despise the works of the Lord. They had to despise right. His work. That's how you yep. throw it behind. That's how you don't deal with it. Because once you learn, you know, once you learn the works of the world, man, you start to despise righteousness, like we read in that Second Timothy. You start to hate good, like I said, haters of good. Who despise right. people that's doing good? Right. That's right. what I'm saying. But you learn, you can got an education from the world that, hey man, this person is soft. This person is weak. Right. This person, yeah. this ain't th- this, this person don't this a person that we can use and exploit and, and take and take and take advantage of. Advantage of. That's you what know I'm saying? what I'm saying? They, so they teaching got, you that. Yeah. That, I mean, the, the, bro, the education we get. All day, every day is that. <laughs> is is that? It's yes, how to yeah. take advantage. It's how to, yeah. you know, you 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 take advantage of ones that's weaker than you. Cause, hey man, they ain't worthy. Yep. You that's know what right. I'm saying? Uh, yeah. we 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 talk to have strife and and uh compete and right. try to outdo each other. And, and it's and it's. Go ahead, brother. I'm sorry. It, it's 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 old saying. Only the strong will survive. You know right. what I'm saying. You pray on the weak, right. so that you can you know take what they have and. Right. That's not how we're supposed to be through Christ, man. We're supposed to educate each other in this truth. Yes, sir. I ain't supposed to be deceiving you. You ain't supposed to deceive me. Yeah. But like you said, if you're hanging around high-minded people, if you're hanging around thieves and idolaters, and you stay around them. Right. Somebody getting converted to doing what they're doing or something else that's better. So that's right, absolutely, yeah. and, absolutely. And, and, that, and that's one of the biggest. That's one of the biggest issues. Again, man, listen, yeah. we got top flight education with the Word of God. Right, <laughs> yes, listen, sir, man, man, we got yeah. top flight education. All we yeah. got to do is yeah. walk in it and believe it. 
But yes, again, sir. man, the world is tugging at us so much. And again, mm. I always say this, man, we want to fit in instead of stand out. Yeah. That's one of the biggest problems in this, man. So you succumb to the world. You succumb to what's around you, your environment. Mm. You right. got to be strong enough, man, to say, hey, man, bro, that's wickedness. Oh, that's wrong. That's right. Or oh, why right. I'm gonna yeah. do this? You know what I'm saying? So that education we get is 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 verbal. We see it with our eyes. We consume it with our ears, and it becomes part of our fabric. We right. gotta do the word of God the same way. Right. We gotta unlearn the world. We gotta relearn how to serve God in righteousness and truth. Yes, sir. And that and that's that's exactly what it's all about, brother. Re. Re reprogramming the mind, relearning. Uh, yes, sir. Let's uh, let's move along though. Let's go to Isaiah twenty six and ten, and uh, another. You know, this is just another powerful scripture, man. Uh, cause, hey, man, the Lord is 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 letting you. It just shows you how deep and ingrained what you learn is in you. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's in you deep, man. Especially if you've been learning it your whole life, and 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 to me, this is what this Isaiah twenty six and, and ten is saying, uh, brother Joel. If you get it, brother, go ahead and read it for me. Yes, sir. Let favor be shown to the wicked. Yet will he not learn righteousness? In the land of uprightness, will he deal unjustly, and will not behold the majesty of the Lord? Now to now this is look he said man if you show favor to the wicked he ain't going to learn he not going to learn again the word learn keep popping up that's yeah. right yeah. he ain't going to learn right cuz righteousness got to be learned yeah. yes sir. people right. people think you just poof all of a sudden you just righteous but that's yeah. just not so you yeah. may have righteous characteristics Heuristics. but yeah. but but righteousness just like wickedness is learned Yep. But he yep. said, hey, man, the one that's wicked, man, he ain't going to learn righteousness. And even mm -hmm. if he in a land where everybody's upright, he's still yeah. going to try to deal unjustly. Yep. <laughs> so it don't yeah. make no difference, man. That show you that if that if that's in you, man, if, that, if that's what you've been indoctrinated with or educated with, wickedness, yep. um, right. and that's what you take pleasure in, man, you could be in a place where everybody's trying to do right, but you still going to sit there and try to uh, uh, finesse your way into doing wrong. You still going to yeah. try to be slick. You still going to try to deceive. You still going to try to uh, swindle, get over, bribe. You're going to do all of that. Yeah. yeah. And it don't matter that everybody around you trying to be right. Yeah. That, that's what let me know, bro. It's deeper than what we can see on the surface, bro. Hmm. It, it's, 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 it's really deeper, man. Again, man, you know, this ain't no poof and I'm decent. It, it take you years to, to, to reprogram yourself. Yeah, it ain't, it, 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 ain't, it ain't magic. It, it, it ain't magic. I know people think <laughs> people think just like right, magic, right, yeah, right. but it ain't nothing like that. Because it's this work, this man. this it's takes work. time. Yep. This take yeah. this take plenty of time. And again, yep. if you trying to do it to the best of your ability, you know what I'm right. saying? This right. is Nothing that's easy. You have to learn all these um, righteous things for the first time. <laughs> Listen, some yeah. of this stuff we we learned it from the first time because we was brought up in a world where, hey man, you better do you. You better get in right. where you fit in. That's right. We, we, we <laughs> brought up in a world where we jockeying with each other, man, for for little or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Right. And we've yeah. been educated, man. Listen, we've been educated from. The inner city's perspective. You've been educated from the bottom of the barrel, from the bottom of the totem pole. It's a total different education. Right. You've been educated from like, hey man, we got to scheme and scam and hustle to get whatever we got. Right. It, it's, it's it's something that you really have to unlearn and go forward, man, with the Lord's ways and laws and statutes and commandments on your mind. Because if you ain't got that on your mind, man, it's hard for you to get up out of this world education. This eleven yeah. from the world, bro. Yes, sir. Uh, absolutely, man. Excellent point, brother. Let's uh, let's go to this Titus, the first chapter, and uh, hit some act. This is uh, this is one you wanted to touch on again, brother. Yeah, definitely, man. Again, man, it, it's you, you, you gonna see, man, that this scripture is is this behavior that's been learned, right? And it's just mm -hmm. they passing it on 
th- through this way, man. But it's it's learned behavior, man. Right. And uh, that's that's one of the biggest uh, problems, man. We see, we consume it with our eyes and our ears, and it's becoming part of us. We just gotta get away from it. We gotta walk in this truth, man, and uh, reprogram our minds. But definitely, uh, brother Obadiah, man, if you can read this, man, uh, Titus the first chapter and verse nine, bro. <laughs> Holding fast the faithful word as he have been taught, mm-hmm. that he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers. Yes, sir. For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision, whose mouths mm-hmm. must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. And this, to, 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 again, man, it, it come out the gate, man. It says, holding fast a faithful word that you've been taught. Yes, sir. That's right. Every, man, it's, listen, it's, man. All edu- it's all education, bro. It's all education. It's you all learning. Yeah. You, you, but you got to hold it fast, though. He's telling them, hold yep. it fast. He says yeah. that you may be able with sound doctrine. The only sound doctrine I know is thus said the Lord. Yes, sir. I'm, right. I'm, 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 I'm yes, sorry, right. man. Yes, sir. It's only thus said the Lord. He said, both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers. Right. This mm. is what we're supposed to be doing with this sound doctrine. Yep. That's this right. is gonna lead us to life eternal, man. Why are we playing? Right. You know what I'm saying this is the education that we need to be focusing on every day. Yes, sir. That's every right. day. Yes, but sir. again, he, he goes and says, For there are many. Unruly and vain talkers and deceive, especially they of the circumcision. Hey man, it's people in the church, man, that's talking crazy. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Talking crazy, they ain't saying talking nothing. Talking yes, crazy, sir. man. Yes, trying sir. to sway you with vain doctrine, with, right. with fairy tales and spoofery. Right. That's where it comes from, man. Again, man, what better place to get people off God is where they're supposed to be learning about God. Right. That's right. That's what yeah. you. That's what you get. Right. You know what I'm saying. I mean, the the, the the world gonna crumble. But man, when you go into a place where you're supposed to be focusing on salvation, and you getting thrown off. Yeah. Right. You can lay it astray. Oh. Go yeah. ahead, brother. I'm sorry, but have you noticed? Like you said, this is an educational thing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. People are minding high things, but you notice that if you're not getting sound doctrine. You're being taught stuff that's for nothing. Yeah. Vain. That yeah. vain is nothing. And it says vain talkers. We don't read vain. You know what right. I'm saying? That's what the whole mindset. This is yes, the sir. only mindset I see is this is Satan. You yes, know what sir. I'm saying? Everything he's doing is against God. And no matter what, like the last scripture in Isaiah 26, no matter where he going to be dropped in that uh bottomless pit for a thousand years of release and go back to do the same thing he was he's relentless so yeah that's what i'm saying that mindset, deceivers man i mean it's either you're gonna learn the words of god and hold on to that education right or you're gonna be stuck in nothingness <laughs> yes sir right it, and it's gonna come to an end yes yeah. sir a- absolutely it's come to an end. absolutely man but you know we we really got to wrap our minds around the fact that this this is you being educated yes sir and you gotta you know the lord gotta lord have mercy on you to wake you up and you start to choose what you're gonna be educated with yes sir that's right because for the most part man you being educated you being force fed something yes sir Mm -hmm. that and and you not even realize it because it's shrouded and uh this is just entertainment Mm -hmm. or you know this is this is the law that they done came up with uh in congress and all of that so but what they doing is they are teaching you they are educating you and we we look past it like nah you know that ain't changing the way i think but it is it is yes sir. five five ten years down the line now you thinking the way that that they done been conditioning your mind to think with yeah. the, the education that they yeah. presented to you in a way where you did you didn't see it as education. Oh, that's yeah, just mm-hmm. on TV. That's on the radio. No, I know it is because they know that's what you're doing. Yeah. So yeah. that's mm-hmm. how they're gonna educate you. 
Yeah. It's on. It was on Facebook. I know you're on Facebook 24 <laughs> seven. That's yeah. where they're gonna educate <laughs> you. Yes, Whatever you paying That's attention right. to, we are gonna give you this right. education. Yes. And, and through, through the through the uh the, the channels that yeah. you that you pay attention to, yeah, yeah. But with this word of God, mm. man, you got the choice to say, man, forget that education. I'm gonna educate myself. That's right. In righteousness through this book. Yes, sir. Mm. And that's the power that the Lord done gave you to educate yourself. Yes, with sir. Thus yes, say the Lord. Lord. Yes, but, sir. Uh, Amen. Yes, sir. But let's go to this last scripture. And brother, brother Joel, this is your 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 scripture, bro. We're gonna close out with this one. Second Corinthians okay. 4. Yes, uh, and, and like you said, once you've been educated in the word of God, you've been brought out of darkness, and so the Lord gave you, you know what I'm saying, his word now. Now you, you've been studying, you've been reading it from Genesis to Revelations. You're lining it up like the Lord said, precept upon precept. So now you can go and speak his word. Yes, and, sir. and it's his ministry. So like it says at verse one, when we get there, um, you go ahead and start. Okay, I got you. You got it, bro. Go ahead. I read it, brother. Yes, sir. Thank you, brother. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not. See, it's mercy to come out of darkness, to come out of the miseducation that yes, everybody sir. is getting. And being in the education of God, now you have a ministry and it's mercy. And then he says not to faint in this. You can't stop now. Yes, sir. You can't go back to where you were in learning. You cannot dumb yourself back down. Yes, sir. We've already done that. So now we're climbing out of this hole by the mercy of God. He's given us a new mind. Yes, sir. Putting his word in it. And then look what it says, because he's telling you again, like, these are the things you got rid of. So verse two. But have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty. Now, now he's talking about dishonesty was being hidden, and that's an education. You yep. know, you, you taught yes, how sir. to be a thief. Yes, you sir. You taught how to be a swindler out of people's money. Yep. And they do this. And they're right. calling themselves preachers and things. And it says hidden things of dishonesty. Go ahead. Not walking in craftiness, uh -huh. or handling the word of God deceitfully, uh -huh. but by manifestation of truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. And you notice he said, not handling the word of God deceitfully. Yes, sir. So you got these great orators that went to college and they're deceiving the people. You go into heaven when you die. I never saw a grave up there. And the Lord said he's going to open up the graves. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yes, you got all these misunderstandings. What day you supposed to be in class or in church? On the seventh day, not the first day. So the Lord took away that deceitfulness and that dishonestness, you know, that hidden, you know what I'm saying, deceitful thing, vain stuff, and has given us his word. And he says by manifestation of the truth, it had to manifest because you had to walk in it. And now yep. you commend it yourself to every man's conscience in the sight of god because god is watching what we teach yes so sir god is watching what we teach so you cannot be out here teaching for dishonest gain you cannot go back trying to be deceitful with right. oh, I, i'm gonna use the word of god to get where i'm trying to go right no, and yeah. in salvation you got to do it one way and that's the way yeah. the lord said <laughs> yeah yes yeah. sir absolutely brother and uh that's an excellent point and uh yeah. again uh it's it's again it this is this education um that can have a whole lot of leaven in it yes yeah. a whole lot of sin intertwined in it yeah. um and lead you down the path to sin if yeah. you got the wrong education and so yeah. this is this is something we definitely got to be aware of for us and you know especially in in these days you know for your children because hey man how many parents how many parents ask their kids, you know, what you learn in school today? That's you right. probably don't even ask that question yeah, because right. you think it's math, science, and whatever, but you don't know what they learning up in there. Yeah. Because yeah. they being indoctrinated to yeah. believe something other That's than right. two plus two is four. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. It, yeah. It's, it's more than two plus two is four. They are being through, through the academic system, they are being, uh, Condition socially to accept things, to accept sodomy, mm -hmm. to accept all these other things that the word of God says is an abomination. No. Yes, sir. Right. They yes, learning sir. that in school. 
Yes, sir. Because that's a part of the education. Yes. Yeah. And so yeah. that that is what we trying to highlight here, man. There's a lot of sin yeah. or leaven intertwined in the education Case. you're gonna get, whether it's yeah. socially, whether it's academically, and definitely uh that that spiritual education if it's the wrong kind yeah, it's, right, it's, it's it's seeing in it it's it's, yeah. it's living in it yeah so uh yeah. i want to thank you brothers for coming on the podcast and uh, yeah. uh you know we want to thank the listeners for tuning in with us um and with that we want to thank you uh for tuning in with us uh on the biblical resolutions podcast which is brought to you by the house of jacob bible study class located at 2515 East 75th Street in Chicago, Illinois. And as always, we want to bid you peace in the mighty name of Jesus.